Now to our broadcast exclusive with the widow of slain Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi weighing in on the deal between the PGA Tour and Saudi-backed Live Golf and what she says led to her husband's killing. Here's CNBC's Eamon Javers. I can be assassinated as any time. How do you live with that? I live in a fair. I don't have a normal life. Hanan Khashoggi says she lives in a state of constant paranoia, particularly because of her phone. But we cannot get rid of it because the modern life, you cannot just leave your mobile phone and live without it, actually. But it's a paranoid way to go through your life. It is. It uh, absolutely is. Especially for a woman whose husband was so brutally murdered. A U.S. intelligence report found that Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman personally approved the killing and gruesome dismemberment of journalist Jamal Khashoggi in 2018. Bin Salman has denied direct involvement. Do you believe it was Mohammed bin Salman who ordered your husband's death? I'm not sure about this 100 percent. Today, she's more focused on finding out how the couple was allegedly tracked and targeted by the high-tech spyware, she says, played a role in his killing. What did that feel like to you when you realized that your phone was an open book for your husband's worst enemies? I feel very sore. I feel very sore, but I don't have a guilt because I did try as much as I can to save Jamal. In a new lawsuit against Israeli-based company NSO Group, Khashoggi alleges the firm's spyware program transformed her phones into handheld spies and gave Saudi agents key knowledge about Jamal obtained by NSO Group from Hanan's own devices. The company told NBC News it has not received the lawsuit and will respond accordingly. And although she blames Saudi agents for her husband's death, she says the joint venture between the PGA Tour and Saudi-backed Live Golf, which has been criticized in the U.S., doesn't bother her. I would like Saudi Arabia not to be a bandit, not to be a pariah country. You're okay with the golf deal? Generally speaking, regarding the sport deal, I don't want to Saudi Arabia to suffer. She is seeking asylum in the U.S. for her own safety, but also pushing to ensure others aren't spied on the way she says she was. For NBC News, Eamon Javers, Washington. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.